What's going on YouTube? I uh, wanted to do a little enclosure update. This is my box for all enclosure. It's in my backyard. Eight foot by four foot, about 24 inches tall. And I have revamped it. It was looking pretty sad. And I'm still not 100% happy or done with it. But I got a couple small hibiscus bushes since all my other plants except for the hostas have pretty much died off. And I wanted to protect them just so the box turtle doesn't trample them and you know let them take root. And then I have spread a broadleaf seed mix that I actually bought from my red foot tortoises through here. So we're actually going to be doing an enclosure update on the box turtle, the red foot tortoises, and if you've watched the channel, our new leopard tortoise as well. So I got some hardy playing some different rocks just to make some different hiding areas. Some more rocks that he, or I guess I should say they, because as of today, Bugs, our three-toed rescue box turtle, has some new roommates. And here they are. These are ornate box turtles. I have five in total. I picked these up from a local pet store for an extremely good price. And I really lucked out. From what I believe, this is my only male. You see his orange eyes. He's more colorful. Slightly concave plaster on and a longer tail. And the rest all appear to be female. Here's the biggest one. You can see her eye color. If she'll open her eyes, pretty brown. And then if she'll show me her tail, it's quite small. So and I know these aren't the exact same locale of box turtle or species of box turtle as bugs my three toed but at least for the time being they're all going to live together um i know some people keep them together some people keep them separate i would prefer to keep them separate but it's not going to hurt for these guys to stay together um they're all related cousins however you want to call it some of these ornates actually only have three toes on the back so i don't think it's going to be that big of a deal i might have some backlash but whatever so we're gonna go put them in their new home these guys have lived in a glass tank and bugs is gonna see his new revamped home i wanted to rearrange it since i was adding new turtles i didn't want bugs to be territorial i don't think box turtles get territorial move the water dishes over here so they're easier for me to access feeding rock again i was just trying to put some more stuff in here and make it look a little bit more natural so my wife and I are going to put these this group in. I don't have a name for the ornates yet. We're working on it. But we're just going to start adding them one by one. And hopefully not get bit by ants or get rained on. It is storming here. I've been working in the rain. And I'm just super excited to have these guys. Or girls and girls. So, um, if my wife will go get some earthworms, we'll go ahead and see if these guys are hungry. But I have uh, never had ornate box turtles before. I've had many three toed box turtles in my life. Um, a Gulf Coast box turtle, I don't know if that's still a true species or not. But um, this is my first attempt at keeping these guys. They have a really wide range in the United States. I'm still doing a little bit more research, but I believe they can live outside here year round and hibernate with my three toed. So we're going to see, but they're off and exploring. I mean, I'm, I'm super thrilled to have these guys. And as big as that female is, I'm hoping next year I'll have some eggs. So I'm going to pass this camera off to my wife and we'll see if we can get these guys to eat. I know bugs will eat. Maybe. Maybe they're not going to eat. they're too busy exploring right now. I'm going to go ahead and put these earthworms in here anyway. Um, worst case scenario, you know, I'll have some earthworms in here for these guys. Whenever it rains, they can come to the surface and have a little natural forage.
Looks like the male ornate's eating back here. Bugs is climbing over one of his new roommates. Did the big female eat? Mm -mm. That's okay. They're probably still adjusting to their new home. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to get a quick video of this. I've been working in the rain. It's about to storm again. But, um, yeah. The channel keeps growing. I think we're about maxed out on shelled reptiles right now until we, you know, move here in the near future. Hopefully near future and get a little bit bigger space. But, uh, we're going to move inside now. And we'll pick it up with the redfoot tortoises. I lied about doing the redfoots next. It only made sense to do the reeves turtles since we we're already outside and it's about to start pouring down. Um, their setup really hasn't changed. I have the rain cover over the land section because after the fiasco setting this up the day or so before they arrived in a major overflow, I I'm still paranoid even with the extra drainage holes in here that I don't want the land side to overflow into the water side and create a swampy soupy mix. But these guys are still pretty gun shy, or camera shy, I guess I should say. But, um, they're growing and doing well. Um, they're set, like I said, their setup really hasn't changed. I have a bigger 75 gallon enclosure I'm going to be building next for them. Um, I just, you know, we got the leopard tortoise and now some ornate box turtles kind of on a whim. So, these guys are doing great. This is the guy who usually tries to bite me. He's got his mouth open a little bit, but hasn't drawn blood yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back in here carefully. And we will move inside to the redfoots. Alright, here we are with the redfoots. So not a whole lot has changed. Um, I rigged up some PVC frames for the lights because just the pieces of PVC were rolling and the lights were surfing back and forth. And you know, with the three-year-old, it was just driving me insane. So really the setup hasn't changed too much. I have their dry hide, I have their humid hide over here. I moved their water bowl this way because they're kind of jamming up in the corner over there. And then their food dish. These guys love to hide, that's why they're not out right now. The hostess or hostess, however you want to say it, I've moved over there. In the aloe vera plant, I actually moved in to the leopard tortoise enclosure. But I added this elephant plant, or sorry, not elephant grass, spider plant. I apologize. And I've also added some large orange and purple and black and white isopods as well as I've grabbed a few superworm beetles, you can see right there, out of the Gulf Coast toad enclosure to throw in here and make this entirely bioactive. There's already a pretty good um, population of springtails that showed up naturally, but I wanted to make sure that I had a cleanup crew in here for all the tortoise poop. It's small, it's not that easy to, to spot clean. It's not as easy as I, was gonna th I thought it would maybe be. But these guys are doing great. They're about due for a misting. I mist them about three times a, a day to keep their humidity as high as I can. It usually hovers in the mid 80s. The lowest I ever let it drop down to is 70. And then when I mist it, it goes up to 100%. I have changed up their basking situation. Um, after a conversation with the manager at my local reptile store, which is Rainforest Pets in League City, Texas, um, she recommended I switch back to a mercury vapor bulb, which I have, and use the high output T5 Zoomed Ref to Sunlight, which this is what I have right here. And at night, since my house isn't going to drop below 70 degrees, that especially in, you know during the warmer time of the year here, which is all the time, that I don't necessarily need a heat source. So I have put the ceramic heat emitter up and I'll save it for really cold nights. And for now, these guys are gonna get, be getting a little bit more light, same amount of heat, and I really hope it's gonna help them grow. Um, but let's pull one out. Oh, all three are in the, the dry hide. So that is the first one we got. That is 
affectionately named Stomp by our three-year-old son. And I bought him from the same local pet store, Rainforest Pets. And these two guys, which we have affectionately named Piggy, because he spends his whole time in the food bowl. And our smallest one, Runt, um, just because he's a little bit smaller than the other two guys. So Piggy and, I'm sorry, Runt and Piggy have come from Southern Reptiles out of Boca Raton, Florida. Check them out on Facebook, Quality Tortoises. Um, they all have been eating and growing and doing great. And soon I'm going to be making a, uh, not a full-time outdoor enclosure, but more of a uh, playpen, if you will, for them with some of that broadleaf seed mix, which I have also planted throughout here to see if I can get it to grow. So these guys are doing well. We're going to move over to the leopard tortoise and see how Spot is doing. All right, guys, here is Spot, our new leopard tortoise we picked up at the Herps show, which is the Herpological Society, I believe. Um, you can check them out at herpshow.net. I picked him up. Um, from a breeder out of Austin, Texas, so somewhat local to me. I cannot recall his name or the name of his company, unfortunately. I wish I would have wrote it down, but he's doing great. One thing I've noticed about the leopard tortoise versus my redfoots is that he is much more active. Um, I do believe it's because they're grazers. Um, I do have the food bowl where I'll put some prepared dishes and then I'll spread, you know, little greens and weeds and grasses throughout. Um, I have ordered some orchard grass hay to try that out. It should be here in, you know, Monday or Tuesday. And I've also ordered an African grazers seed mix from tortoisesupply.com, which is where I got my broadleaf seed mix as well. He has the elephant, or I'm sorry, I keep calling it elephant grass, the spider plant, and he loves to hide up next to the pot and uh, up under the the leaves he has a dry hide um, i'm considering his spider plant his moist hide because they are a more arid species from africa and they don't require as much of a, a humidity and then the aloe vera plant i moved in here since this was going to be a little bit drier tank and i you know his basking spot um, also a mercury vapor bulb also a t5 high output rep to sunlight and his basking spot stays about 95 degrees just like the redfoot tortoises um, it does fluctuate a little higher on occasion but um, he seems to be loving it uh, i have fresh water in here i'm under the belief that all tortoises need access to fresh water i have I'm seen him drink I'm to stop. okay baby what's his name this one's spot What's his name in his spot? His name is Spot. So I have seen him drinking from this dish quite often, as well as soaking in it. I do not mist in here as often, but I believe the humidity stays around 50 to 60%. I only have one uh, thermometer slash humidity gauge, and so I've been moving it back and forth pretty regularly to, step to, to keep an eye on both tanks, especially since this one's new and I've changed up the lighting a little bit in the other one. But he's doing great. I believe I'm about to order another leopard tortoise from Southern Reptiles out of Boca Raton, Florida, just because he can't only have one. And that is going to be the the uh, the end of our sh shelled collection for the time being, so we say. But I appreciate everybody who's checked out these uh, enclosure updates with me. Oh, also framed it out just so it wasn't rolling around, just like the red foots. But thanks for watching my channel. I uh, appreciate everybody who's subscribed. I didn't think I'd have 179 subscribers or whatever it is ever. I thought maybe I'd have one or two, and that's including my grandmother. But keep keep tuned to the channel and I'll try and post as many interesting videos as I can. If you have any tips or suggestions, please hit me up and um, I'll try and respond to every comment I get. Thanks for checking it out guys. Take care.